Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, everybody, Charles here, and welcome to another great show. So happy that you can be here. Oh, I got one, two, three, and now four special guests that just came into the green studio, and I'm happy to tell you more about it. Now, listen, what's going on? Special event happening this week. That's right, a special event that's coming on. You don't want to miss it. It's, we've been talking about it. It's interesting. It's happening soon. Where? Right there, Metro Hall, Toronto, 55 John Street, 5 p.m. And I mean 5 p.m. Don't be late. You want to know what's going on? I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to let our special guest tell you. Let's start off. Rafi, how you doing? I'm good. Hey. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Hey, I'm so glad to have you on the show. Yeah. Thank you, Charles. So good to be here. We talked about it yesterday on the show. We had, you know, other guests. Now we have some more interesting people like yourself that's going to be at the event before we move on, talk about yourself. Who are you? Where are you from? Born and raised. All righty. Uh, so my name is Rafiat Ahmed, and I am born here in Toronto. My background is Jamaican and Nigerian. So big up to all my people. <laughs> Um, I'm so happy to be here. What I do is I'm a restorative faith coach. So I really help young leaders to discover faith and develop faith in themselves and also their most high, right? Whatever they believe in so that they can confidently, you know, walk out the purpose that they have in their life. So that's a little bit about me. And that's right. And you're going to be one of the guest speakers there that day? Yes. All right. So tell everybody what the event is happening, what the event is all about. Yeah, so the event's really just going to be a celebration of women empowerment, right? We're going to be speaking about, there's going to be panel discussion and speakers, and just really discussion around women empowerment. How do we uplift all these women who've been through tough times, and also just celebrate all the accomplishments they've already done. Um, so we're going to be talking about social impact, diversity, um, equity, and entrepreneurship. Uh, at WIB, we really believe in, obviously, business and creating a lane for yourself, creating a way for yourself out of nothing um, and out of the opportunities that you kind of see. And so that's what we're going to be talking about about on Friday um, at Metro Hall, as you said, at, during our event. And also that day is the International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women and Girls. So I really just want to bring the awareness to what's going on, but also to celebrate all the women and girls who've made it through. You know, it's not easy uh, going through violent situation, whether it be psychological, you know, financial, uh, you know, any kind of abuse really. And so I'm just excited to, to just lend my ear and my expertise um, and also the women and men who'll be there with us, just celebrating, you know, the fact that it hasn't been easy, you know, the past couple of years. And here we are still living, breathing, thriving, making amazing business, businesses. So, yeah, I just want to celebrate us. Now, you said something that's key. Men. Yeah. <laughs> you need to show up. Brothers. Show yes. Up. Uncles, Come on. Brothers. Be our allies. We all need to get there together. Yes. All right. But it's not just you. We have some more phenomenal people on the panel, so let's bring them on. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Hi, good morning, everyone. I'm good. Thank you so much. Thank you for, for this wonderful opportunity. So speaking with you, Charles. So yeah. Not a problem. Good. Not a problem. If you could just speak up so we can hear you a little bit better. You sound you're sounding low, and I want everybody to hear the great information that you're going to be talking about coming up on the 25th. Uh, it's okay now. Oh, Sorry. yeah. Now we can hear you. There you go. So please introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Aziza Zare. So I'm from Afghanistan. So I've uh, been in Canada in, in five years. So it's still a newcomer. Uh, but uh, uh, I'm, a, I'm a feminist and gender equality advocate. So I normally, my uh, purpose or my mission in life is to empower and uplift women that uh, they're uh, thriving or maybe they need a try for uplift in their own them and uh, uh, like um, whatever they want in terms of uh, is it is it their business is it in um, education is it in uh, other areas of life. So my purpose, my mission, and my passion is to empower and uplift women that they need a lift or maybe they need support. Uh, so yeah, and. Um, uh, so it's it's a per, uh, passion, and I've been working in this since like I was literally a, a child back in Afghanistan. So now bringing those expertise here in Canada, hopefully to to be, be able to help the communities here. That's fantastic. Okay, we're gonna keep rolling. Another special guest. Let's go. How you doing? Hello, hello. Good morning. I'm good. How are you doing? I'm great. Now, look, I really, I can see the energy on this panel is going to be exciting. It's just coming off. Everybody's here. So tell us, what is your role? Uh, 
Uh, actually, I um, came recently in Canada. As I have uh, heard that um, Aziza and Rafiat, they are still have experience uh, living in Canada. But for me, it is different. Uh, so I, I recently came to Canada. And uh, it's not uh, a year. It's less than a year. So I, I came uh, with a diverse background to Canada, and I want to participate in this program to bring all the uh, experience that I had in my back home country in Afghanistan. And uh, uh, my name is Darla Joya, and I'm also uh, from Afghanistan. And uh, uh, I, I'm really happy to be a, a part of this great evening uh, on the 25th of November. All right. We're, now, listen, we're going to take a quick break. But when we come back, I want to talk to you about the diversity, what you experience coming in, what people can look forward to. And because you're a newbie, this is fantastic. We're so happy that you're here. So don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. We're going to be right back. Immigrant Women in Business, IWB, is a nonprofit organization bringing together women from over 50 different countries around the globe. These women have now made Canada their home and share a common goal of providing value to their new sisters. Our motto of We Are Stronger Together resonates with all members and with a diverse membership of business leaders, entrepreneurs and community builders our goal is to make Canada better and provide guidance and leadership to those that follow. CMJ Entertainment is a one-stop shop. CMJ Entertainment helps people do any type of events and it's a marketing tool as well. So we'll cover everything from start to finish. If it's a wedding, we'll make sure your wedding is over the top. And if it's an event, we make sure that everybody gets information at the end of the day. Give us a call at 416-414-8964 or online at cmjent.com. Yes, yes, we are back live on the studio. This is a special event coming up. Don't want to miss out. November 25th, 5 p.m., Toronto Metro Hall. You've got to be there live. But I see one, two, three. Wait a minute. There is four people here. We're missing one. Let's bring her on. Hello. I think you're there. Oh, her camera's frozen. Okay, please log on and log back in. We would definitely want to have you on the panel. So while she's waiting to log back on, let's get to the nitty gritty. Please explain your experiences coming to Canada. Anybody can jump in. Uh, I think I would go because uh, Rafa is, she's born here. So for me, uh, my experience, like, of course, it's, it's quite different than, um, than, than my own country, Afghanistan. But so, so far, it has been great. So one of, I would say, uh, one of the greatest achievements that in life has, like, immigrating to Canada. And then the experience, the support, the, the help that I get being in Canada. So that's overwhelming. So I really appreciate and I'm glad that I'm here. And being with these all these wonderful people, especially IWB, the Svetlana and the team. So they have been helping me since day one. Uh, I arrived to Canada. Of course, not day one. The the first group that that I have uh, like uh, reached to them. So it has been great. Uh, of course, life is life is totally different. Uh, good. And then uh, I would say that uh, the networking that I've. Uh, Created in Canada, so they are great. The friends that I've made, so of course, uh, they're now become my family. Uh, so yeah, I, I would say uh, being a Canada is a, a privilege. So I'm 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 totally grateful for this opportunity to be here and uh, share this wonderful land with all these amazing people living in Canada, being in Canada. Well, the 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 one thing that you said, and and I get that every time I interview somebody, that it's family. IWB's family, they keep saying family, they work together, they help each other. Tell us more about the experience about how this is family. Anybody can jump in. Uh, 
it's uh, for, for my side, um, since I came to Canada, it's really, um, uh, it's really a great chance that I have, I, I came to Canada and met these beautiful people uh, that actually you can not find uh, um, better than I think as I have my previous uh, for in different countries but the Canadian people are really kind and they are really beautiful and I like uh, 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 to be here and I'm really optimistic about the future of myself and my kids my family in Canada and since that I have joined to IWB uh, I found that this is really a great space, especially for women who are uh, recently came to Canada and they are uh, going to uh, to um, start their business uh, or even for the networking. And uh, this is really a great uh, chance and, and a great place that I have joined. And I'm really happy that I'm in Canada. All right. And this is all happening on November 25th. Make sure you get there on time, 5 p.m. Don't be late because you're going to miss out. We have a lot of great speakers. Metro Hall, Toronto, 55 John Street. You got to get there. Now, if you want more information, just go to the website. It's right there. Get some more information. Now, Rafi, I'm going to ask you, you know, when did you start your own business? Ooh. <laughs> I, um, so my present business, I'll say, because I'm entrepreneur and spare, like many women, we have multiple business throughout our lives. Uh, so this present been, has been just over a year now. Um, so it's been great. Yeah. Yeah. And then starting off with the ladies, tell everybody, anybody can jump in again, what they're going to expect on the 25th, coming out to this great event. What are they looking forward to? Uh, well, I guess I can continue. I think you can really look forward to, as everyone's saying, a great network of women and men who really just embrace you. Um, I myself recently joined um, IWB, and it's been awesome. Like, uh, you just really feel supported all around. And if you're ready to jump in, jump in. Um, if you're not ready, that's okay, too. Just come out to the events, get to know everyone. We have an event once a month or sometimes multiple times a month. Um, it's, you can really expect to be engaged, um, have here really great discussions, um, also be a part. There's opportunity to ask questions, opportunity to network and meet people. Um, you just never know who's going to be there. So come in with like an open mind and just, you know, have fun. Absolutely. Now, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you, what is your discussion on the panel? Like, what will you be talking about on the 25th? Uh, okay, so on the previous question, I would say, uh, so what people should expect in this event is love, care and upliftment so mm -hmm. when you uh, when you are at the at the at the event so you'll see everybody love you will love you and care mm -hmm. for you and then if there is any any way that we can uplift so we'll be able to uplift you so these two things and then now uh coming back to what am i talking about so as i said um my passion and mission is of course women empowerment gender equality so i'll be we will be talking more about uh Women empowerment methods. So, how as women we can uplift each other, uh, like especially women that uh, uh, they are struggling in life, or maybe they are newcomer in the country. They are looking forward to do, uh, to to how to mainstream to this new new way of life. So, for for us, it will be all empowerment. The, the how we can like maybe more of like inspiration, talking, motivational approaches. So, there will be different same topics that I will discuss and I hope that uh, these will be uh, if not fully but how somehow be uh, somehow like will help some women that they need uh, inspiration in life or maybe mm -hmm. they are lacking motivation that that or maybe they don't know how to get, get, like how to go from here, from there so so I hope that uh, like we all like that we speak or maybe engage with with uh with the women so uh, that will be something that they can and there's okay. and there's one there's one thing that I, I i love that you said it's it's the care it's the hug it's the love i always hear every time someone comes on they always talk about when you guys get together the hugs are amazing <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like for us, yeah for us in this group IWP, so the most important act and love so i know everything is, is starts from from loving each other so if there is no love there is no care so i don't think the business will start i don't think any any networking can start so the basis for for us is love and 
hard. So you can feel when you come to this IWB and talking to everyone of us. Yep. Love it. I love it. Okay, here we go. Let's try one more time. Let's go. Hey, hey. there you go. How you doing? You're muted. Please unmute yourself. Yes, you're muted. There we go. <laughs> it was a problem. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, we're, you're here. We're so glad that you can join on. Please introduce yourself and tell us a little bit more about yourself. My name is Arnella Renda. I'm a realtor in the city of Toronto. I was born in Italy, raised in uh, Canada, Toronto. All right. So you're gonna, you're on the panel. You're going to be talking on the 25th. So tell us more about what you're going to be talking about. So we're excited to come on down and see you. Basically talking about uh, life and how we were um, all in a struggling situation and came out of it and determined uh, to uh, succeed and um, move forward. Not easy, yeah. but persevered. I love, I love the part where you say we all came out of it and moved forward because to me, I believe that your story can help somebody else. They learn from your story. They learn from your backstory. What did you do? How did you become so successful? You know, what was the little key things? Who helped you out? When you tell your story and teach others, it helps everybody's story find out little things that they yeah. can do. And the thing is, the networking is so key. I'm telling everybody yeah. right now, when you come, yeah. they're going to bring you to everybody and say, hey, do you know this person? Do you know this person? Hey, this person can help you without. You're looking for a home? This is what this person does. Hey, you're looking for this? That's what this person does. It's all yeah. about the networking. Networking, so you need yeah. 100%. So make sure you're there November 25th, 2022. That's coming up. That is coming up fast. It's at the Metro Hall, Toronto, 55 John Street. And make sure you go there. If you need tickets, information, just jump on the email, jump on the website. It's really simple. We want to see you there. And there it is right there. Get information. Yeah. It's a beautiful website. They're there to help you. Information, speakers, sponsors. All you got to do is register, click the button, and sign up, sign up, sign up. And I do want to put this out there one more time. Fellas, this is for you as well. We <laughs> want to make sure you come out and support these beautiful ladies, their education, what they have to do. Make sure you go out and, and help them out, help them out. Now, we're getting a lot of comments here. There you go. See, a lot of people yeah. there. And that's what we want to see. We want to yeah. see everybody going down. All right. Before we go, I'm going to give the last word to all you ladies. Give us one thing that this organization does for you. Rafiette, I'll start with you. Go ahead. Give me one word that describes what this does. Um, support. Nice. Empower. Ah, oh, there you go. For me, sorry. For me, it's always love that I have received from this group. It's love. Yeah. Yeah. Networking. Yeah. Listen, if you can't get the best out of that right there, I don't know what's going on. Listen, I always tell you, you didn't have to watch, but I'm so glad that you did. Get the information. Don't be scared to come on out. Listen, call a friend. If you know somebody that should be coming to this event, bring them along with them. Bring them with you. You two go together. Everybody can go together. The more we network, the more we share, the more we bond together, will make this a stronger place. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate you. We'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. It's come to an end. But the fun doesn't have to stop here. If you have any questions, suggestions, or feedback, head over right now to Twitter and Facebook and like, share, and get involved. Join us next time. Please be advised that this podcast is meant for educational and informational.